we're now in the uh, first week of February. Oh, doesn't time fly. Um, and we're back to tasting my little Australian whiskies that Mel got me for Christmas. Um, you know, next week or the week after is possibly delivery week from the club, so there'll be another new one from there. Um, after this week, there's one more of these I haven't tried yet, and then there's also the um, Starwood Nova. Um, so I'll do something with that, and then there's the Glen Monarch to try. I just like to clear something up. Um, some people thought I didn't like the Glen Dronach last week. It's not true. I just don't. I thought the Batch 10 and the um, traditionally peated ones were better. Um, but I'm actually I think I've got some. I'm going to try to find them, and I might even do a little comparative tasting of those too. So a few weeks of good whiskey left. Okay, so today we're having something from the Kawara Distillery, um, New South Wales. So yet another local. Um, this one is their Barrel House X Bourbon Single Malts. Now Kawara is famous for its big red um, flour mill that operated the car um, for many, many years until it was shut in 1970, where it was basically let to fall, uh, fall apart. Um, and then uh, two men with a love of footy and a passion for whiskey met and something happened. They decided to turn the abandoned flour mill into a whiskey distillery. And apparently they bought it for uh, $1. Uh, because they promised the council they'll put it, uh, bring life and uh, bring it back to life and put their little town back on the map. So, yeah, they've apparently travelled the world, um, training under top um, distillery experts from Scottish Highlands to Tasmanian mountains. So yeah, I'm I'm actually getting quite excited to um, try this little one. Okay, so. We have here ah, we have a nice golden colour. Well, come on, my side looking at my screen looks a little bit darker. Uh, it's probably the that's probably the bourbon influence. Hmm. I'm definitely picking up some nice zesty um, citrus and lemon. Uh, hints of vanilla. Hmm. Almost like a um, very soft undertone of freshly mowed grass. Anyone knows what that means? Okay. Um, it's nice and creamy. Uh, definitely got some nice zesty lemon in there. hint of marzipan or almonds or something along that nature maybe even a hint of mint hmm. oh, we're all a nice little winner I'm definitely gonna have to go check them out um, yeah um, so that's the Kawara Distilleries Barrel House XB single malt Okay, um, yep, quite enjoyed that. So, and, and until next week, Santé.